Have you ever played against Camille supports that have insane damage level 1, a huge shield that makes them almost invincible, and it feels like you can't play the game? No? Well, anyways, in this video I'm going to teach you how to destroy Camille support as Pike by using the Bosch strat. This requires you to not leash your jungler though. In my opinion, leashing is a thing of the past and you might be losing more games than you think because of this. Leashing might give your jungler a few extra seconds of tempo and a healthier clear on the first camp, but in return you're giving up prio, which means that the enemy bot lane is probably gonna hit level 2 first instead of you, which can put you at a tremendous disadvantage. So if you want to start climbing as an ADC or support, stop leashing your jungler. Ah, <gasps> it's Camille support. I think we still win though. <laughs> I think, although Camille does a lot of damage. I mean, I'm guessing they're probably not gonna leash a Momo. Okay. Whenever you're up against champions that are very strong level one, it's very important to get prior so that's why we didn't leash as you can see and now camille cannot really play because she's half hp and uh, there's no way she can jump onto us with uh, the huge wave we have right now so she's in a bad position ah. i'm gonna stop so we cannot fight we cannot fight here have to wait oh my god i have to be careful of a move Okay. Oh! <sighs> nice! You saw that cancel on the Camille. That was great. She's probably tilted right now. That was a huge cancel. I mean, I, I missed my Q though, that was terrible, but yeah. <laughs> At least I was able to salvage the play. Bye. Mulder should be here any moment though. Oh, I'm an inter. <laughs> okay. Nice. This is so strong. It's insane. Okay, mine. Mine. I don't know where the talon is, but Kaisa has everything. <laughs> nice. What you're about to see is the cheese bush strap. Basically, we're gonna wait for the waves to collide on the middle and you see there's like a gap right there in the middle So if you're playing any champion that has a hook you just wait here until the ADC walks up to the minions and you kill him Okay, we didn't kill him, but now he has to pot his half HP. The trade also went decently because I have bone plating. So if you are playing Pike, I would highly recommend you to choose bone plating if you're gonna try these uh, strats versus all in supports like Nautilus.
after my first reset, I decide to go to mid lane because I see that Diana is like almost one HP. Whenever you do rotations like this, make sure that the enemy wave is pushing into your tower so that way your ADC won't get zoned off XP. There is a cool interaction I just discovered against Nautilus. If you hook him first and then dash away, even if he hits you with his hook, he won't be able to root you with his auto attack because your E will stun him, preventing you from getting rooted. This is why I love bone plating so much. Without it, I would have died in that trade. Bone plating just allows you to be extra aggressive with Pike, which is amazing, so I highly recommend it. I could have played that way better, but I just ended up beating Lucian with auto attacks. <gasps> Look at him. Ah, so you sucio inter. This strategy is the best uh, for killing tilted ADCs. Like, I bet Lucian's not even paying attention anymore. Yep.
Oof. Nice. 